this is my fifth year and my fifth offense that I've had to learn. So it's, it's fun, but you know, it's nothing new to me. Just got to go in and study and, and learn the stuff. It's kind of amazing just how many weapons you have with you on offense from Jamar, Tyler, Joe. I mean, it's just up and down the line. It's, it's pretty cool. You know, you look to your left and your right and you see, you know, potential all pro guys and things like that, where it makes my life a lot easier, where, you know, I'm not necessarily on the best guy, cover guy on the field where I can run routes off of linebackers and utilize my size and speed. When you signed, it seemed like the opportunity slash need at the position really excited you. Yeah. Now that you're here and you see the guys, has that been reinforced even more? Oh, it's a great group. You know, I, I've been in, I've been lucky and blessed to be in some pretty good groups in the NFL. Uh, these guys are awesome. Like I said, it's kind of all hands on deck right now, helping me learn this stuff. Um, I'm just excited to get in there and play with those guys. There's a lot of good athletes in our room, a lot of smart guys. So it's a good group to be around. Five offenses in five years. <laughs> well, what's the hardest part about that? Just getting the rapport with the quarterback. And I think that's what I told Joe today. I said, hey, man, you know, I, I know I do some things well, but I don't have this all figured out. So whatever you need, whatever whatever you want, you know, that's, that's what I'm here to do. That's why they signed me. Um, whatever I can do to help this team, help Joe, that's what I'm here to do this year. Watching you practice, it seems like you really get up the field quickly. It's noticeable for a guy your size. Has anybody pointed that out or said, whoa? I think this staff um, finally understands what I'm capable of. It's taken five years, unfortunately, but you know, everything happens for a reason. I think God put me here in Cincinnati for a reason. Um, like I said, you know, I'm just going to do my job, buckle down, learn this playbook, and just work my ass off. That's all I can do. Five offenses in five years, unlearning, relearning terminology. It's like you're learning a lot of foreign languages. You could work for the UN of football. I was going to say, man, a man of many hats. But uh, you, you start to learn you know, the more offenses you're in. A lot of things sound the same. There's a lot of same verbiage. Um, so there's, there's some carryover. There's also a lot of new nuances that I have to learn too, but it's fun. It makes us fun. From a schematic standpoint, are there some carryover similarities between every offense that you run? Are there some like foundational things? Some things, um, you know, not necessarily like the whole core playbook, uh, but there, there's certain things that, you know, are the verbiage will maintain the same throughout. So it makes my job a little bit easier, but not completely. And you did a lot of research about, you know, what, where you want to sign and right. why. How is it matched up with your experience now that you're in it? I made the right choice. Uh, just, I mean, I think we all know what Nine's capable of. I mean, he, he's incredible. He's a professional. And like I said, it was good for me being in Atlanta because Matt was that way. He was a professional. You knew what he was going to have every single day. So it really raised the standard of what you had to do, your knowledge of the game, your knowledge of the playbook. Um, I love it, you know, because like I said, there's an expectation and, you know, I, I have to live up, live up to it. So it's fun. Is that professionalism between the two of those guys what really stands out as the big similarity? 100%. Um, some guys aren't like that. Some guys are. You know, he's he's about he's about his business. You know, he's not really – when he's in the building, he's not screwing around. You know, he, he knows what he has to do, and he expects you to know what you need to do too. So, Is it kind of amazing in a player that new to the league? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, but, I mean, just watching him on the field from afar, you know, not even being in the same huddle, you know what he's about. And um, – when you're in the same huddle and you hear him and his confidence and what he expects, it just it, it reinforces that. It's pretty awesome. Thanks. It seems like the majority of the offensive guys have at least tried the gritty. Have you practiced it? Have you given it a stab yet? I have not, but I knew this was coming. So I, I need to practice it a little bit. I know as soon as I make a catch or a touchdown or something like that, all eyes are going to be on me to do it. So I guess I have to uh, study up and learn how to do it. Can't look like an idiot. So we'll follow back up with you. Yes, give me, give me a couple months. Yeah, I'll get it perfected. As a guy that's been in the league five years, mm -hmm. and I know wide receiver tight end are not not quite apples to oranges, but not yeah. apples to apples either. Yeah. What advice would you give to a player like Jamar that has that breakout rookie year? What's the key to to building on and not having the, the prototypical sophomore slump? Um, from what it's worth coming from me, uh, just consistency. You know, it's it's all about stacking days. You know, what can you do day in and day out? That's what I've learned. Um, and he's a professional. He's he's an incredible athlete. He doesn't need me telling him what to do, but. That's just what I've learned, you know, being around for five years. It's all about stacking days.